wache mali mninginia pengine upigwe teke utafute familia yako ipo Mungu huyo pia ufunge macho yawe atakusaidia tapi zipo japo Mungu yupo pia bora tamke neno tumeona ganging up usitishwe na mtu mimi juzi niliona hiyo mkutano na nikasema ni sawa mkutano everyone anakubaliwa kutembea na you know ukiitwa mahali si lazima unaitika mwito lakini jambo ambalo umeitiwa unaweza kubali ama ulikata nikiangalia wengine wetu hapa we are almost the same age wengine ni wadogo kutuliko hawa viongozi ambao wanapatana mimi nikisoma Kalonzo alikuwa minister wa nini education Raila alikuwa nini? Mudavadi alikuwa nini? It's a high time. It's a high time na nyinyi ndio mnakura. Sisi ndio tunakura. And it's a high time hii uongozi hii hii kusemwa ati pia ati mtu kutoka jamii ya maskini aezi ongoza inchi ama aezi kuwa kiongozi. Zili kweli? So atuta kupumbazwa tena na msikubali kupumbazwa tena. Hii inchi si ya mkikuyu, hii inchi si ya mjaluo, hii inchi si ya mkalenjin, hii inchi si ya waria, hii inchi ni ya mkenya sisi wote. Tulikuwa tunaongea maneno ya VIO. Ndio, tutacreate VIO pale juu. Sijui tutapatia nani hii kiti, lakini saa hii ametuwezesha sisi wote. Hata hao our competitors wote sasa wameanza kuzungumza maneno ya mama boga boda boda si nafasi na Mungu ametupea nafasi na unaona watu wanaanza kupigongana uh, kiongozi rafiki yetu anajaribu kuleta nyumba nyingine pamoja na hiyo nyumba mimi najua kwa sababu ya nguvu ya Mwenyezi Mungu haitatomboa na nakuambia si ungwana kuwa na nyumba ikiwa mzima alafu uache kwako ukajaribu kuunganisha viraka vingine hiyo no? kwangu kama mimi ningeulizwa ukitumia ujasiri kamili hapo uko makosa na iko kasoro kidogo lakini hatutaki hata siku moja tusigetaka rais wetu ahibike lakini kwa sababu unasikia kuna kuna apalabo ya mkuu inasema mwenye kupotea kupotea mchana kukiwa jiwa ikiwa juu na anapotea na hakuna wa kumsemesha kwa sababu hata ukimsemesha anaona wewe unamwambia mlama na mimi nawaambia na udi ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba sisi mahali tumetoka ni mbali na hatutasahau na mtu wa kusahau iko makosa. Tumetoka safari hapo 2022 pamoja, 2012 na tumeenda safari. Na hao wangwana wote hakuna aliyobaki na kiongozi wetu. Raila alikuwa tayari akiongoza meli yake. Mudavadi alikuwa wa mwisho. Na wakati aliona kadi zake hazitatokea, alihama usiku ama hakuhama. Tulibaki na mmoja pekee rafiki wa dhati ambaye ni nani ni deputy rais leo na hiyo safari tusinja tukatanganyana hata siku moja ati kwamba tungeitomboa peke yetu na mjue hata wa leo kiwango kimewekwa na katiba za kupata urais ni 50 plus 1 sio ile popular vote tunaelewana it's not easy na kwa hivyo ukipata rafiki akuongeza kura hata milioni moja uvuke hiyo sio artificial votes. Hizo ni ku ni kura zimewekwa na wananchi. Au namna gani? Heshima hiyo tuweke. The Hasla Nation is the nation for everybody. It is for people living with disability. It is for the lowest in the pyramid, Mamamboga, tunaambiwa hivyo kila wakati na deputy Boda Boda how what we want to bring them on the table. And that's why your excellency I want to tell you usishtuke mambo ya wanaume kukutana Mombasa those are seven men meeting 
God is going to send them in seven different ways. We even saw it. Tuliona wakimaliza mkutano, si mukikata mkikuwa na mkutano, mumeongea mambo ya unity, mambo ya covid ndivyo tuliambiwa. Tijui mambo of course tunajua tunadanganywa. But wakati picha inapigwa na mumemaliza, si mnasalimiana nyinyi wote. Muliona wakisalimiana wote. Si kila mtu alienda njia yake, huyo ni Mungu anafanya kazi ya hasla nation. Because they do not have the interest of Kenyans at heart. The interest they have are their own personal selfish interests. There's only one man who is bringing this nation together. There's only one man who is cutting across tribal lines. That is William Samoy Ruto. Tusimame na viongozi wenye wanakumbuka ile safari na vile ambavyo tumesumbuka pamoja. Hii neno unasikia Hasla Nation. Musidanganywe ati Hasla ni mwizi, ati ni mkora. Ah ah, Hasla ni mtu binadamu mkenya mwenye ambao amejipatia shughuli. Hebu sema kujipatia shughuli. Umejipatia shughuli za kuamka asubuhi kutafuta mwelekeo wa maisha kuliko kukaa tunde. Sawa sawa. This time around men and women of God, hii safari yetu sisi hatuna God, hatuna hao ma God father wao, si tuko na God the Father. Na siasa yetu iko mpaka kwa madhabahu. We don't have strange altars, we don't have ungodly altars, we have only godly altars. So tafadhali msituambie and then huko nje ya kanisa mkafanya siasa yenu hapana yetu tunafanyia ndani ya kanisa kwa madhabahu ya Mungu hapo ndio tunaanzia. Kwa yes. okay, kama yule Nicodemus saa ya usiku. <laughs> Tunachora vile nitafuka sakafu kwa sababu mimi nilipenda deputy president nilikuwa kule ODM nilikuwa alikuwa tulikuwa pamoja na yeye. Tukachora tukachora na mambo ikaingiana. Lakini jamani <laughs> Sasa mimi niliingia kama ile ndama iko na nguvu alafu ndio inatolewa mara moja inafukuzwa huko. <laughs> Lakini nimeshangaa jana mimi naangalia naota watu saba wanaenda kuzungumzia mambo ya kijana yetu mmoja. Seven people. Seven people. Hata hawezi kuzikizana wanaenda kulia kwa rais. Hata rais saidia sisi huu kijana amesukuma sisi sana. What a shame. Si ni aibu kubwa sana kijana mmoja watu saba wanaenda kuungana waweza kufikiria mambo ya kijana yetu mtakubali hiyo sasa hata hao watu saba kusikizana ni ngumu wengine wasalimi wengine wengine wako kando kalonzo kwenda state house juzi anakuja anaambia wengine tumeanzisha chama inaitwa sijui ni Kenya kujeni sisi ila ukitaka utuunge sisi ukuja pamoja na sisi huyo wako kando Leila naye anakuja hapa anasema mambo mengine. Lakini unajua ile kwa bibilia ile watu saba waligawanywa na nini? Eh? Watu kapi? Tabii tu president hata mimi nashindwa. Watu hao wajue una mafuta ya Mungu. Wao yuko na mafuta ya Mungu. Na wewe unasungumzaga mambo ambaye Mungu amekuweka ndani yake kwa sababu wewe ni mcha Mungu. You just said it. Na hata mimi sikujua ukweli ya hiyo maneno ama itakuwa namna hiyo. Ukasema hii mambo ya watu ya boda boda wale mama mboga na nani na hii uchumi kutoka chini itakuwa topic ya kuzungumziwa katika Kenya. Sasa waongee mambo mengine. Wanaongea Ruto? Wanaombea mambo ya nini? Bottom up, hakuna kitu kingine wanaongea. Sasa topic yao hawana agenda hata kidogo. Lakini ningeomba sasa nimeota ndoto. Mtaisikiliza kweli? Mi nimeonda ndoto. Rais wetu Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta anatusaidia sasa msifiki. Anasaidia si sana anatufanyia siasa ile grupu wako naye akiwaita tunapata bonga point ile watu yote wanaenda kulitaa akiita hawa tunapata bonga point sasa si anatufanya kwa njia mzuri tumeona pale rais wetu ameamua na amethibitisha vile tulikuwa tunasema hii BBI haikuwa mambo ya wakenya ilikuwa ni mambo ya yeye na Raila kupanga mambo ya 2022 si imejitokeza ile viti tano alikuwa anataka kuunda ndio moja ipatiwe Raila, ingine ipatiwe Kalonzo, ingine Musalia, ingine Wetangula na ingine mtoto ya Moi. Na imeonekana. Sasa tunasema sisi tunamheshimu rais. 
na tusimweke lawama hakuna makosa amefanya kama amekaa chini ameamua yule na ila odinga aliumiza yeye siku hii yote ndio anafaa ni haki yake kama ameona wale watu bado pigia ye kura kutoka tu tu ndio wanafaa ni haki yake kama ameangalia kabisa hii Kenya ameona ile mtu alituambia ndio shida ya Kenya saa hii ndio wanafaa kuongoza pia ni haki yake na lazima tuheshimu lakini pia tunataka kumuomba kwa heshima rais wetu vile tumeheshimu haki yako ya kuunga Raila mkono na wewe uheshimu haki yetu ya kuunga William Ruto mkono na sisi tukukuheshimu we usukume Raila na we utuheshimu tusukume Ruto si tunaheshimiana kwa sababu wewe ni mkenya na wewe ni binadamu na lazima tuheshimu uamuzi wako pia sisi ni wa Kenya na ni binadamu na wewe rais uheshimu uamuzi wetu hapana sukuma sisi hapana tumia sisi kenoti hapana tuma polisi kupiga sisi na tia gas hapana tumia sisi KRA wewe sukuma raira na tunakutakia mema lakini huko na kibarua ya kufanya kusukuma hii raira hapa kwetu hii ni kuuza guruwe ya Saudi Arabia lakini rais kama wewe kwa ujasiri yako na system umefanya darubini kabisa na umetosheka ya kwamba unaweza uza hii raira kwetu tunakutakia mema na hatuwezi toa hiyo makosa kwa sababu wewe ni mtu mzima wewe ni above 18 wewe ni rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya wewe umepima umeona utauza ye, wewe endelea sisi tumeongea na watu wetu tumeona mtu ya kuuzika pale kwetu ni huyu William Ruto so wewe sukuma gari yako sisi tusukume yetu tukutane kwa de si, si ni kwa debe simebaki si siku bia tatu na sitini. kwa hivyo sisi rais ukitufanyia hivyo tutakupenda tutakusifu milele utupatie nafasi tusukume wetu na wewe usukume yule jamaa alafu tukutane pale wale unaona wanapigana wanaungana wanapigana na mambo ya bottom up bottom up is the opposite of what you saw in Mombasa wale unaona wakiungana wanaume saba Mombasa wanatuambia watu kutoka western province mkiwa na kiongozi wenu mmoja ama wawili pale juu mambo yenu mumeshiba na mumepata ajira mtu mmoja kiongozi akipata kazi sisi watu wa Mount Kenya tukiwakilishwa na mtu mmoja pale sisi wote tuko sawa lakini bottom up hiyo ni trickle down and that is why i said what we had in Mombasa let them not lie to us was a meeting about covid-19 it was a trickle down governance and economic model meeting people who want to make us believe that power must trickle down from the top to us that economic power must trickle down from them to us na sisi tunawaambia bottom up we believe that power belongs to the people nyinyi ndio wenye kuamua nani ataongoza wale wako Mombasa wanatuambia wao watakutana watu saba waamue nani ataongoza Kenya na sisi tunawaambia wa Kenya wote ndio wataamua nani atakaye waongoza hawa watu wa, wa wanaume wanne watano ya sijui sita wameenda pale ati wanaenda kupanga huyo rais ambaye wamemtembelea hawajawahi kumpigia kura hata siku moja hawajawahi kumtafutia kura hata siku moja hawajaenda pale kumsaidia atimize ile ajenda alikuwa naye ya wakenya milioni 45 wameenda pale ajenda ya kibinafsi ya kugawana vyeo na mamlaka ati wapigane na sisi watumie ofisi sisi tumemsaidia rais apate ili wapige sisi tuliyomfanyia campaign na kumchagua yule rais kwani wanaona hakuna Mungu mbinguni si hawa watu tutawaachia Mungu ama si tunawaachia Mungu Mungu atadeal na hawa kwa sababu it cannot be 
our competitors and our good friends from NASA, they left, the op they abandoned the opposition, invaded our government, destroyed our party, torpedoed and sabotaged the big four plan that was to benefit ordinary people, ordinary farmers, and people to be able to pay their health expenses through universal health coverage. Changed our priority and brought a selfish agenda to change the constitution so that they can share positions and share power. When that did not happen, they dismembered their own NASA. Now they are camped in state house. Not to help Uhuru Kenyatta deliver to 45 million Kenyans, but they've gone there for their own selfish agenda of sharing positions and sharing power. And they are so shameless that they are going to a man they have never supported, they have no, never voted for, they have not gone to support him deliver on his agenda, they've gone there for selfish reasons. And they expect that Uhuru Kenyatta will help them so that they can work against us who campaigned, supported, and voted for Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi tumewambia, nothing short of an economic revolution that will create jobs, create opportunity, ensure that our farmers increase their productivity will pull Kenya out of where we are today. That is why we believe that the answer to our current situation is an economic revolution and the hustler nation is at the head of it. Tunaelewana? Nyenye mutakubali tuendelee tutembee pamoja? Munasema tunabadilisha katiba ama tunabadilisha uchumi? Si tunabadilisha uchumi? Ndio nafasi ya kazi ipatikane? Na biashara ipatikane? Si ndio hiyo ndio tuko hapo? So how and ndugu zetu wengine wanaweza kujipanga na na vyeo na na mamlaka na hiyo ingine wanajipanga lakini sisi tunawangojea kwa debe <laughs> tumeelewana and i want to conclude by saying the following we are committed as kenyans to a peaceful process that will transit our country to the next level. And the hustler position is that we believe that there is a rising new Kenya nation. A Kenya nation that is built on equal opportunity. That success is not determined by who you know, but is determined by your creativity, initiative, and hard work. Yes. That it will not matter that you have a godfather. Mm -hmm. It will matter that all of us are working together to ensure that there is opportunity for everybody. Simimi ndio nilisimama na Muliona muliona mtu ya kitendawili? Ule mtu wa katikati alikuweko? Ule mlulu alikuweko? Eh? Si mimi ndio nilisimama na yeye? Ama 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 namna gani? Eh? Sasa nimesema safari hii nitasimama na mama mboga. Na mtu wa mkokoteni. Na mkenya wa chini hata na wao tuwainue waweze kuishi kama wa Kenya wengine. Kuna makosa tumefanya hapo? Iko makosa tumefanya. Na tumesema hatuna shida na wale wengine kujipanga. Hiyo ni hiyo ni haki yao wajipange. Lakini pia sisi tupate nafasi ya kujipanga bila kushurutishwa, bila kulazimishwa, bila kutumiwa KRA bila ya kutumiwa DSCC 
bila ya kutumia DCI kama wanaamini ya kwamba wako na agenda mbona wasihuse agenda yao kwa wakenya mbona wanataka kutumia kifua kutulazimisha ati usipofanya hii tutafanya ile lakini mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba hiyo nafasi ya vitisho expiry date imefika kwa miezi michache ijayo kwa miezi michache ijayo haitakuwa na maana na haitakuwa na ladha na uoga haitakuwa na bei ya kununuliwa kwa soko kwa sababu wa Kenya watajua imefika time ya kuamua na sisi wote tutaamua vile tunavyopenda tumekubaliana